Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, just very, very uh, brief introductions. Uh, my name's Simon. Uh, I'm from the Times Higher Education, uh, based in London, uh, and I'm the uh, the brand manager. Um, so I, I look after universities within Europe and also the Middle East. Largely, I work with uh, universities, helping them with their brand uh, and reputation uh, for areas such as international student recruitment and also promoting universities' research. So as part of the presentation, I'd very much like to go through just um, some information in terms of how we work with universities on this level. Uh, and certainly at the end, there'll be room for um, questions and also answers as well. So very, very just uh, a brief um, uh, summary, just in terms of um, THE and the various services that we offer. So as you can see, we have um, many different areas in which we work with universities. One is through uh, events. Um, we, we host a large number of summits throughout the year um, in all different regions. Um, we have um, editorial um, through the THE magazine, uh, and we also help universities recruit faculty staff as well. Uh, and probably uh, you're very familiar with the world university rankings uh, as well, which a large number of universities all around the world play a big part within. But the area that I sit in is within branding, and certainly this presentation will cover um, different snippets of how we work with universities through this particular platform. So what's the significance of brand and reputation? Um, so I've put up the um, THE methodology for the World University Rankings and also uh, QS, another rankings provider that you may be familiar with. As you can see, as part of the methodology, um, the reputation and also the international outlook um, of, of um, universities place significant weights within the um, within the ranking systems. So certainly any work that you can do in terms of improving your overall reputation, improving your overall international outlook, ranging from recruiting international students and also attracting faculty staff from abroad, this will certainly play a big part in terms of your overall performance. But it's not just um, rankings performances that a strong brand can also impact. Um, a strong brand can naturally attract um, the best students from around the world. It can also attract academic talent, um, also help with things like um, your strategic partnerships, collaborations within research, as well as attract funding and also investment. But building reputation, um, there's no quick fix. So building reputation takes a long time um, to, to, um, to build. Uh, and there's lots of key areas that universities need to address. Um, and these are just some of the key areas that universities certainly will need to have a think about when they're looking at their um, strategic direction in terms of building their reputation um, over the long term. Um, and one of the areas that I work within is within advertising. Uh, and this is a service that THE is very proud to offer uh, in terms of helping universities build their overall reputation through Times Higher Education. So there's different areas that we can work with universities on in terms of building reputation through brand and also advertising. However, one area that I always find quite useful when guiding universities is looking at specific strategic data uh, in terms of how you're currently performing and also within different regions as well. So this strategic data, uh, the chart, it shows year-on-year -year performance across thir the 13 THE metrics. Uh, and how the universities within the Russian Federation have performed and what has contributed to a positive change uh, and what has contributed to a negative change. So as you can see, um, the green chart on the far right-hand side, that shows the most positive change uh, that the Russian Federation universities have received in terms of performance. So you're doing really, really well in terms of your citation impact. However, on the left-hand side, you can see uh, the reputation for um, the research and also reputation for teaching. That's had a negative impact between last year's results and this year's results. So I think that overall, this does call for um, a bit of a wake-up call, really, in terms of addressing areas such as your overall reputation um, out, of, out of the country. 
Other areas that we can look at, we can look at who's voting um, for universities within the academic survey. So you may be familiar um, with our methodology. So a large part of our methodology comprises of the reputation survey, the academic reputation survey that we send out every year. And we ask academics to rate who the best universities are um, for teaching um, and also research. And as part, of the, um, as part of the survey, we can gather results such as the voter age. So we can look at um, who's voting for you uh, in the reputation survey and by age demographic. So as you can see from the, uh, from the examples, uh, university example four, that shows the university received a larger group of votes from a, a much, much mature demographic of voters. So what this suggests is that they, they need to start working on their overall reputation uh, to appeal uh, to much uh, a more younger group. Uh, because as this older demographic moves on, naturally they, they're, what they're going to want to be um, continue to have awareness amongst the academic community. Um, as part of the strategic data as well, we can, we can look at who's voting for your universities and from which regions. So these are Russian exam uh, uh, examples of universities from the Russian Federation. Um, so all these three universities, they all receive their votes from academics within Europe. Um, so what this suggests is that they need to start getting much more awareness within other regions outside of Europe, Asia, North America, um, uh, Australia, um, and so forth. Uh, yeah, apologies. This is as I can't get it any any large, unfortunately. Unless I can send you the presentation uh, afterwards as well, um, so you'll be able to see it more clearly. Uh, but yeah, so coming back to the um, geographical targeting, um, so we can work with universities on campaigns helping um, to get awareness in different regions outside, including outside of Russia um, as well. So in comparison, um, these are um, universities ranked in the top 100 um, of the world university rankings. As you, as you can see uh, from different regions, they receive a much more balanced level of votes from academics um, all around the world. And I think this is the type of results that universities should be aspiring towards uh, in terms of overall performance. Uh, we can also look at your data on a national versus international level. Um, so apologies if you can't see it that clearly. I will send the presentation uh, around uh, afterwards if anybody wants to um, uh, have a further look at it. Um, but what, what the charts show um, is um, the difference between the national versus international votes that your university um, has received. The blue highlights um, what you're receiving on a national level. Uh, the orange highlights what you're receiving on an international level. Because, as you can see, there's a misalignment there in terms of the actual chart. So this particular university receives many more votes um, on a national level within life sciences compared to uh, international. Um, so what this suggests is that within that particular subject area, this university needs to start promoting their awareness um, of life sciences research within the international fields. Um, and because the THE has such an international um, audience, um, we can work with you on these um, brand-led campaigns promoting various um, subjects um, that you're known for or indeed want to be recognised for. This, in comparison, shows um, two universities with very good, good brand alignment, um, both domestically uh, and internationally as well. So as you can see, they receive votes for all of their subjects, both national um, and internationally. Um, we can also look at, um, this is what um, uh, a SWOT analysis from our data points portal. We can look at your strengths and also your weaknesses. So the chart going um, up shows your overall research reputation. The chart going right so shows your citation impact. Um, the top right-hand quadrant represents what we call our strength quadrant. Um, so if a university has a subject in this, in this area, 
Um, they're both highly cited and they also have a very strong reputation. The bottom right hand corner shows what we call our opportunity quadrant. So for this particular university, uh, within engineering, um, they, they are cited uh, amongst the scholars uh, within the community, but they need to start working on their overall reputation uh, in order to build awareness and also get in up into the top right hand right hand quadrant and by doing this one way is through uh, branding branding advertising as well as all the other different facets that are highlighted um, on the chart previously um, the top, uh, the bottom left hand corner represents um, a, a weakness so um, these universities um, they're both neither uh, cited um, and they, they they don't have a strong reputation uh, in in their particular subjects so there's certainly a lot of work that these uh, this university needs to do within this particular subject area but it's not just through um, advertising that the THE can help universities. Um, one uh, way is also for universities to have a think about um, uh, how you're submitting your PR uh, to various uh, news providers. So certainly having awareness through PR within the news uh, can also have um, a positive impact in terms of getting awareness through various platforms. Uh, and this highlights a university that has um, a strong awareness um, throughout different regions of the world and also in key regions as well. This is actually an example of an Australian university that submit PR uh, and have a very strong international marketing uh, basis. Uh, and as you can see, this is based on um, the number of media mentions that this university uh, receives. Uh, and the, the, the bold orange highlights where the where the um, uh, you have a, they have a large number of media mentions coming from those particular regions, ranging from Australia, um, in Asia, uh, and also America and the UK. So in terms of uh, the time to higher education, um, we have um, a very, very um, large group of audience. Um, we have over 32 point, uh, well, 32 million Apologies, a bit of a technical issue there. Um, so coming back to the Times Higher Education in terms of how we work with universities, I just want to touch upon uh, a little bit about our demographic and just how powerful the platform is. So every year we have over 32 million users uh, coming to the Times Higher Education website. 70% um, 70 70 of those are students uh, from around the world and 30% of those are academics. Um, we also have the, the Times Higher Education magazine, so we publish weekly uh, and we distribute to 95,000 readers and we're visible within over 200 countries. Um, it's not just through the THE magazine um, that we can reach the audience, um, it's also through other facets such as the, the World University rankings and various rankings um, that we produce, uh, where we produce a dedicated supplement and we distribute this uh, at all of our events as well. So just how um, the power of advertising, this is um, an example that I always like to show. Um, naturally, when we have the World University Rankings launch um, every year, we attract a huge amount of interest and audience. Um, so this is uh, an example of um, the sponsor of the World University Rankings um, website last year. Um, it's Amity University, where we, um, we, we gave them an opportunity to sponsor the THE website. Um, so they had it for a one week period. Um, we served over 1.2 million impressions of their advert uh, and they had over 26,000 clicks to their university website during this week. Um, so it's a huge way uh, for a university to gain some really, really good brand visibility uh, and also click throughs to their own website for um, students and academics to engage and find out more about their university. So in terms of the, um, in terms of the overall uh, reputation of universities, um, why are uh, people voting for um, uh, universities within the surveys? Um, I think this statement just highlights the power of um, uh, the media and online advertising. Uh, because as part of a survey from the World 100 Reputation Network, many cited the news and online media as how they had heard of universities um, that had impressed them. 
And as part of the uh, academic reputation survey, we also do ask that question now in terms of why, uh, what formulates uh, the reasons why you voted for a specific university. Uh, and generally speaking, on a global level, 55% um, of the respondents who vote for a university say that they have seen the university within, un within uh, the media or within advertising from the past six months. This chart shows um, how effective advertising and promotion is when universities engage with um, a large campaign. Um, so again, this looks at the, um, the overall social mentions and the media mentions um, that this university has received. So this particular university started a large impact campaign with the Times Higher Education at the end of September. Uh, and as you can see, as soon as we started that campaign with them, uh, where we ran a blend of online and also print adverts, they immediately had uh, a rush and spike in social and media mentions. Uh, and this is certainly uh, an avenue that I, 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 I would uh, welcome you to sort of also have a look at just to measure the effectiveness of your campaigns uh, when, you, when you run them. So we run adverts throughout the year uh, in the Times Higher Education. Um, one thing I would say to you is that naturally when you do put out adverts to promote your brand, having um, brand distinctive, distinctiveness um, is quite difficult, just in the sense that we're seeing a lot of the same similar types of adverts being produced by universities. Uh, and these adverts here are a classic example of that. So the second advert was um, uh, the front cover of our, world, of our World University Ranking Supplement in 2013, where we published the supplement with a picture of a globe. Um, and then almost instantly, we started seeing many different adverts coming out with um, pictures of globes and talking about how world-class the university is. Um, so yeah, by all means, showcase or have, have an image to showcase how you're world class. Um, but we're seeing a lot of universities that are saying, you know, we're world class, we're open to the world. Um, so I think that it's quite important for universities to find their niche uh, and have something um, uh, quite interesting to talk about um, on that level. Um, and then we also started moving on to other similar types of adverts the year later, where we started uh, receiving adverts um, talking about going, going anywhere and reaching for the stars and going really very much interstellar. Um, one example that I can think of, uh, a university that showcases their research really well by not necessarily just talking about how world-class they are, is the University of Melbourne in Australia. So they've produced a whole series of adverts showcasing their uh, research through some very clever imagery uh, and also some um, clever uh, text as well on the actual adverts. Uh, this is uh, an example from one of the top universities in China, uh, Tsinghua University. Um, so they've seen very, um, they've seen uh, some very uh, large success in terms of their overall performance, uh, and I think largely due to the um, large amounts of funding uh, that goes into their research. Um, as a result, they have seen some very positive performances within the, the rankings. Uh, and then also, they've backed this up with very strategic marketing campaigns um, as well. Uh, and this advert appeared in the World University Ranking Supplement um, last year. Um, so as you can see, it's very simple, it's very digestible, uh, using some really good, vibrant imagery, uh, as well as uh, a couple of key statistics as well. I think this is quite important, um, but it's not totally, um, it's not too text heavy. Um, and certainly I recommend keeping it simple and digestible if you are looking to produce adverts um, to showcase your university. Uh, this is another advert from uh, Australia, uh, Monash University. Progress doesn't accept answers, very thought-provoking. Uh, again, using vibrant imagery, uh, keeping it simple and digestible. Um, University of Hong Kong, this is another uh, one of the top um, ranked institutions um, in Asia. Um, I think the University of Hong Kong have um, uh, the benefit, naturally, in terms of promoting their location. Um, as a location, um, yeah, if, you, if there are some really good facets to promote, please do promote your, lo your location. Uh, tell the world why people should partner with you, why students should come to your university to study. 
And these are just some more examples of research-focused adverts from the University of Southampton. So coming back to what I was um, talking about earlier, as you can see, they've used some uh, imagery um, with um, just a couple of um, headline text um, talking about what they're doing on a research level. Um, University of Newcastle, Australia. Um, so we've worked with University of Newcastle, Australia for five years now. Um, again, they've seen some very uh, positive performances. Um, so we first started initially promoting their researchers um, across different subject areas. Uh, and then now we've gone on and we've developed their campaigns um, and um, they started talking about what they're doing on a world level, how they're working on a world level uh, and benefiting society uh, in this respect. And we've run multi-platform print and also online campaigns with University of Newcastle, um, Australia. Uh, and these are just some more examples of um, some of their adverts that have appeared uh, in multi-platform uh, both print and also online. But it's not just through advertising that we can work with universities. Um, I highly recommend to consider um, thought leadership and content marketing as well. So not necessarily just putting out brand adverts, but uh, showing yourself as a thought leader to the academic community. Um, so we can work with universities on an editorial basis where you can sponsor um, supplements, where we distribute that in turn to the THE academic community. Um, this, this comprises of, well, we can look at different areas. We can work with your university on a brief um, and we can look at interviewing your key staff. We can, interv we can interview your senior management. We can talk about all the great things that are coming from the university and your research departments. Also consider your social media strategy as well. So Twitter, Facebook, um, LinkedIn, these are all key platforms as well uh, for universities to, um, to be um, you know, recognised. Yes? Oh, sorry, yes. Sorry, the, the, the microphone, I can't hear you, the microphone's coming. <laughs> Hi, so uh, thank you for the interesting presentation. Now you are presenting now a catalog of uh, where you worked and the success you had. Now, it would be very interesting to know what you found to be, in general, across the border, the most effective technique to promote the image of the university. Mm -hmm. Because indeed, I understand that every place is different, every place, is, but in general, if you have to say, okay, I have, uh, you know, my resource, I want to put my resource, where do I invest uh, 100 uh, Australian dollar? Where, where, do I, where do I go? Where do you suggest to go? Uh, from, from a THE campaign perspective, in terms of how, in terms yeah. of how I've worked with universities, uh, it's um, using um, a blend of different creatives, both print and online, in terms and brand adverts, as well as content marketing as well. Uh, and then also looking at the area in terms of where you want to attract academic peer votes within the reputation survey. Um, so we can have a look at where your votes aren't coming from and we can get your university some significant awareness within those countries. So if, for example, you don't get any uh, votes within North America, because we have such a large global audience, we can start promoting your university very heavily within the North America region to academics through a blend of print and also online creatives. So you're, you're telling me do everything, right? To do online, printing, but if I have to find, what, because it's interesting to understand, right? Is it Facebook a good mechanism? Is online marketing through different media via TV? Is it uh, social media? I mean, what have you found to be most effective in your experience? Well, naturally, naturally, there's there's so many different platforms for universities to consider. So I've mentioned, look, as an example, social media. Uh, I've mentioned I've mentioned PR. These are additional um, methods that universities can strengthen and tap into. Um, however, um, on a THE terms higher education um, campaign level, then uh, I would recommend using your using the platform uh, to promote the university to our very large um, select of global audience in terms of academics and also students. 
So uh, just coming back to um, social media, um, yeah, so as you can see, this university is very, very engaged with some images, uh, also their um, hashtags, very, very active. We have a large number of universities um, that we worked with that have a very large number of um, uh, workers at the university tweeting, um, tweeting their news. So it's very, very important, I think, to continue to have some uh, visibility in order to be competitive. So coming back to Time Tower Education, this is just another example of um, the university profiles in terms of getting international visibility to THE's audience. So the profile on the left is the University of Cape Town. Uh, the profile on the right is King Abdulaziz University. So the University of Cape Town is the top ranked university within Africa. Um, King Abdulaziz University is the top ranked university within the MENA region. Now this is the difference between um, an enhanced gold profile and a basic profile. So University of Cape Town is a basic profile, King Abdulaziz University is a gold profile. So what that means is the gold profile receives a significant amount of promotion to THE's audience throughout the 12 month campaign. Um, so generally speaking, um, universities ranked higher within the list will receive a higher click-through rate uh, and engagement. But because we promote the uh, profiles really, really heavily, as you can see, uh, King Abdulaziz University has received 42,000 clicks from around the world um, over the year in compared to University of Cape Town that received 27,500 um, clicks. Uh, and as Sorry? On our, on our platform, yes. But we also have, um, as part of the platform, you can put your university link on the profile that then links through to your own university website, and we would be able to track that for you as well. Um, as part of the profiles, there's other information that you can upload. So you can put in your, um, your promotional video to attract students, um, your prospectuses and brochures, um, any content that you want to use to promote um, to these students, uh, and imagery as well. So uh, it's certainly a very effect effective platform to, um, to reach international students when you're doing your student recruitment. Um, and we can also have a look at where those students and where the audience is coming from. Um, so we can give you a country breakdown as well in terms of where those clicks um, are coming from. This is another example of a gold profile from uh, the Uni European University Cyprus. Um, so as you can see on the chart, um, they had almost zero clicks uh, going through through to their profile. Uh, as soon as we, um, we upgraded them to a gold profile in February, they saw an immediate spike in traffic. And this is certainly the aim of how we want to work with universities. We want to get as much um, traffic and users through, through to your profile and also your university website in order to increase engagement uh, and for these users to find out more information about your university. Uh, these are just some example universities from the Russian Federation um, that, we, that have these profiles. So Peter the Great St. Peter, Petersburg Polytechnic University uh, and also uh, MEFI um, as well. Um, another area that we can be quite strategic on is the online advertising. Um, so we have um, a service called our programmatic targeting. Um, so what this um, means is we can quite cleverly um, follow users around that have shown an interest already in your university. So for example, if you have a university profile, we can drop um, a cookie on that particular user and then we can retarget that user uh, with your adverts. We can also um, break it down as well in terms of um, targeting students that are interested in studying in the Russian Federation, or we can um, target students that are interested in studying at some of the other Russian universities as well. So overall, I think having a strong web presence is really, really important. Um, again, coming back to University of Newcastle, Australia, um, they've shown time and time again that through clever uh, imagery and engaging content, um, they can also um, be, um, uh, improve their overall um, uh, international marketing um, focus and strategy. 
Um, this is um, an example of their research hub where they, um, they put together different snippets of content that we promoted uh, in turn um, online uh, through their profile and also their THE and also the THE website as well. Um, so they're looking at different areas um, that they're really looking to get some really good recognition from and we promoted them throughout the 12 months. Uh, this is just another example of um, University of Liverpool, um, their research hub. Um, so again, we've looked at different areas of research, um, talking about some of their example of infectious diseases and what they're doing in terms of um, uh, in terms of their advanced materials and other the pharmacology research. And we've promoted these research stories very, very heavily um, over the 12 months. Uh, this is uh, King Abdulaziz Research Hub. Um, so again, we've promoted them heavily over 12 months um, through using different articles and images and also videos as well. Um, so as part of the THE campaign service, we can also work with universities on producing some really world-class um, uh, adverts as well. Uh, this is an example from ETU uh, in terms of how we've worked with them in terms of creating their uh, adverts. Uh, and we've implemented these adverts through um, a large impact campaign uh, over the 12 months. So overall, I think hope that's given you some uh, idea uh, and some food for thought in terms of um, how you can potentially uh, raise awareness and your brand um, through to the academic community. Uh, we offer different areas depending on what your focus um, is on, uh, ranging from a specific um, brand consultancy session uh, where one of our advisors can come to your university and give you some very, very clear-cut guidance in terms of what you need to do to take your university to the next level from a branding perspective. Um, we can also look at your international student recruitment, uh, how, you go, how you can attract students from abroad, uh, and we can also look at your overall reputation management as well. Um, and um, I'm going to be here over the, um, over the course of the event. Um, uh, downstairs, we have a stand. So if you do have any more questions, uh, feel free to come and um, speak. Uh, and I'd be more than happy to um, talk about um, how we can potentially um, yeah, assist your university going forward. So I've got um, some more time now for, uh, uh, for some questions, quickly. Uh, I think I, I, have a, I have a question on student recruitment. How many student users you have in THE and what is the geography of the users? So we have over 20 million um, students that are using the, uh, using the website every year. Uh, largely they, they will come to the website during the, uh, the rankings launches and the World University Rankings launch. Uh, and obviously it's very, very important for students when they're researching their university uh, to see um, uh, how the performance of their potential university they're going to study at. Actually, thank you very much. And uh, so, Simon, very interesting and eye-opening <laughs> presentation for us. Oh, we are from Nazarbayev University, city here. And uh, so, does it mean that in order, of course, we'll come back and talk to our colleagues about this proposal and uh, this opportunity um, to apply for this kind of help. And do you think if we have any questions regarding the contract or anything, we should talk to you directly? Yeah, please do, yes. Uh, I'll be fully on hand if you have any questions about the campaign or in terms of the and actual contract itself. And to get your presentation, itself. we should give you just our cards and... Yes, please, yes, okay, yes. thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you.